Good day, learners. Once again, this is your mentor, mentor Ray of Gapus Mentors. And I'd like to share with you some concepts today about a basic skill, which most of us preparing for the NCLEX who think about like high floating concepts that we need to focus on when we're studying because some of our friends have taken the test and passed and became USR and tend to exaggerate or um, trying to highlight a sense, their sense of accomplishment by telling us that, you know, you have to know the disease condition by heart. So everybody is trying to memorize almost everything about a specific disease condition in a way that they have been so focused about diseases that they forget about fundamental or basic things that they need to study for the test. So today we're going to talk about how to done sterile gloves, pointers for the NCLEX RN. So before we begin, I'd like to ask everyone about the mission that I have created. Um, our goal is to provide free NCLEX RN application and review to 100 nurses. Actually, my personal pocket, I'm shelling out some of my personal funds and doing actually free review programs for nurses who need our assistance. And to help us achieve this, just watch and finish the ads in our videos. That's all you need to do, guys. Okay, you don't have to shell out anything from your pocket. You just have to watch and finish the ads in our videos. And we thank you so much for doing so. So join us in this mission because we want to change lives. We've done this in the past 20, more than 25 years. And we'd like to continue doing this because we believe that the Filipino nurse can turn their great American dreams to reality. So reminder, if you have questions, kindly send it to my email at mentor.raygapos at gmail.com. So I'm not crying. So let's begin the discussion of the concepts. What I'd like to highlight at this point in time is that you need to focus on the steps, okay? If you will study the concept on how to don sterile gloves, focus on the steps. So initially, you need to wash your hands, keep the hands above the waist, and then select the correct type and size of gloves to use, then open the sterile package, glove the dominant hand, followed by the done dominant hand, and then extend the gloves over the gown cuffs. That's all you need to remember. Okay, now, how do you expect this concept to be presented, for example, in an NCLEX style type of question? So let's try answering a simple question. It's only a, the way to figure things out if we want to translate the concepts we have learned into an NCLEX style type of question. Go. Okay. So suppose you have a drag and drop kind of test. So which means on one column, you have this ordered presentation of the steps that we've just actually went over a while back. And in column B, you're being asked to drag these steps and arrange it in order in column B. So read through the instruction. A nurse is preparing to put on sterile gloves and the nurse begins the process by washing the hands and keeping the hands above the waist. Arrange the steps in order by dragging the steps in column A and dropping them in proper sequence in column B. So what did we learn a while back? We began with washing the hands. It's not in column A, it's already in the question. The second step is actually to keep the hands above the waist. Once again, it is in the question stem. So what do you do next? The next step would be to select the size and type of gloves. And then after that, you open the sterile package and then wear the gloves. And after extend the gloves over the gown cuffs. It's as easy as you can see, okay? So the, the proper way of studying this concept is for you to focus on the steps, okay? So maybe just to uh, develop that muscle memory for this, maybe you could like, Get a rubber gloves at home that you use when you're doing your laundry, okay? And then you use that, okay, to demonstrate the steps to yourself. That's the only way you could actually develop muscle memory by doing it, okay? So once again, this is shout out time. Congratulations to Leslie Ringor, uh, a graduate of St. Mary's University, who's now a registered nurse in the United States, specifically the New York Board of Nursing. She passed the test last October 22, joining our online NCLEX RN review. So thank you very much, Leslie, and for, for your trust in our system. And I hope that you become a role model and an example for other USRN aspirants. So 
for those who intend to become USRN and who would want to turn their great American dreams to reality, let's learn together. For more instructional videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Gapus Mentors, and my Facebook page, Mentor Ray. So if you have any requests for any topics you may want me to cover in the future, send it to my email, mentor.raygapus at gmail.com. It would be my pleasure to help you out in your preparations. If you want me to simplify any concept, please feel free to send me a message. Disclaimer, this instructional tool is created to enable students to develop their test-taking skills. The question or questions and answer or answers contained in this instructional video were patterned after the official publicly accessed samples from the RN test plan of the National Council of State Boards of Nursing or NCSBN. The discussions and rational presented in the video are based on the lecturer's research and are meant to provide an explanation for the answer or answers to the question or questions that is or are presented. The lecturer makes no claim directly implied or otherwise that the rational discuss is officially endorsed by NCSBN. See you on my next video. And if you like what you saw, if you love the video, please don't forget to subscribe and to hit that bell notification button. Thank you.